Hey guys, RST here again, and today I'm going to be talking about the top three things to expect in the 2016 MacBook Pro based off of the new MacBook that was announced pretty recently. So um, I myself am a MacBook Pro user. If you want to know what MacBook Pro I use, I use the mid-2012 uh, MacBook Pro. This is, it also has a retina display. It was the first MacBook Pro to have a retina display. But um, if you want to know the specs, it's an i7. It has a NVIDIA GT 650M, 8 gigs of RAM. It's a pretty beast of a laptop. But um, me being a MacBook Pro user, I've been highly anticipating redesign ever since the new MacBook was coming out. So today, I'm going to be ta talking about, again, the top three things to expect in the redesigned one, redesigned one that should be coming soon. So starting off at number one, uh, the first thing to expect in the 2016 redesign is new color options. So as we saw in the new MacBook, we saw it come in three new color options based off the iPhone line. Um, so there's gold, space gray, and then silver. Now, uh, I myself would get a gold one mainly because my iPhone and my iPad are mainly gold. But I think a lot of other people would also be excited for the space gray ever since uh, the black MacBook died in 2008. A lot of people were a big fan of that. Um, so I think bringing color options to the MacBook Pro again would definitely make it more appealing to more customers, especially since, you know, people like to personalize their MacBooks just like they like to personalize their iPhones. So yeah, yeah, I think um, new color options are a thing to expect and a thing that could possibly happen in the new MacBook Pros. So starting off, in, so coming down to number two, um, another thing to expect is force touch. Uh, the new MacBook right now has a force touch trackpad and what that is basically is a f pressure sensitive trackpad which basically it simulates the clicks with pressure that comes back once you click it or press down on it and for the new the new MacBook Pro so far the refreshed one in 2015 does have a force touch trackpad but for the redesigned one I would like to see the 3D touch trackpad mainly because um, it would make using pro applications like uh, Adobe Premiere or any other pro applications. Um, I think memorizing, you know, uh, key keyboard shortcuts takes a lot of time. So I think maybe, you know, implementing the 3D touch trackpad, maybe you could like remember just gestures or like certain clicks. Um, I think that would make using pro applications and video editing applications a lot easier because, you know, remembering a certain gesture or um, a certain press, I think personally is a lot easier than remembering a certain keystroke or a certain key command. I just think that's easier. So going down to number three, which is the last and final thing, um, this is a uh, USB type C. So the Ma new MacBook is the first ever Apple device to ever use USB type C. And that's a big deal because USB type C is the first ever USB te te technology to be reversible, just like lightning, which means you can put it in any way you want and it won't, it will still work. So, um, the reason I, I would like to see USB type C in the MacBook is like mainly because it's a more versatile port, which means that, um, right now it's rocking a MagSafe, uh, connector to charge it, but with a USB type C, not only can you use it for charging, but you can also use, plug in an extra battery pack and other things. Um, mainly it's a lot easier to manufacture a USB type C accessory than it is to man manufacture a MagSafe accessory. So yeah, that's why I want to see um, USB type C coming in the new MacBook Pro. So that was it for um, top three things to expect in the new MacBook Pro. Um, I hope you liked this video and I hope it informed you. Uh, me being a heavy MacBook Pro user, I'm really excited for the new MacBook Pro that hopefully will come out. You know, Apple has been totally neglecting it for a while. But um, I can't wait for it. Um, I know the success has been announced. I did pre-order one. And uh, I will be making a video of it once I get it on the 25th. And I can't wait for that either. But uh, my video schedule is going to be a bit uh, off because I'm again back to school. And I'm getting a lot of work now. So um, expect every video, you know, a couple weeks or so. But um, again, I'll try my best to make them quality videos. So yeah, this is RST with a HD video. Peace.